Professor, are there other variants that are on your radar at this point, or is it all about Omicron, and are we entering the final stages with all the caveats that you've just underscored there? I don't know if Omicron is the last variant. There's nothing on the radar for me at the moment, but, but you, you can never rule out more variants arising. So at this point, Omicron was, it was quite lucky. It was more transmissible, but definitely less infectious. It infects different kinds of cells in our body, less likely to go into the lungs and cause that really severe disease. But there's no, there's no saying that another variant couldn't arise that was just as transmissible as Omicron, but more severe. We really can't say. We're not in the end game yet because there are so many countries that are not vaccinated. This is a breeding ground for further variants. I really hope Omicron's the last big one, but, but we can't say that for sure. Where are we on the vaccines, Professor? Do we need more vaccines that actually counter Omicron, or is it about vaccinating the part of the world that hasn't been vaccinated with even a first dose yet? I think new... Uh, new vaccines are probably warranted in the future. At the moment, it would be great to get more people vaccinated with the ones we have, because they do prevent serious disease by almost 80 percent if you've had your booster dose. And of course, a lot of countries have even, have even not had their first or second dose. But I think that at the moment, so the UK is almost 60 percent boosted. 10 percent of our population is vulnerable because They've, they've not been vaccinated at all. The U.S. is not as good. So the U.S., only 30 percent of people are boosted. So it really depends on where you are in the world, how well these, these vaccines will, will help you. If you don't have the vaccine, mm. you won't be helped. But yeah, I think the one we have works pretty well. But I would expect that all of the vaccine companies will be tweaking now and, 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 and rushing out new vaccines for the future. What are the implications of a developing world that's been largely supplied with Chinese vaccines that have been shown to be relatively ineffective against Omicron? What are the broader implications for that? Well, their immunity wall won't be as strong. I mean, any vaccine is better than no vaccine. Even, you know, a previous infection can, can give you some uh, longer-term protection against severe disease. But clearly, it would be optimal if the world had better vaccines, if there was more equal coverage of the good ones. And I am sure that this is going to happen eventually, but, but at the moment, it's the, the richer, more developed countries are uh, basically, as always, uh, taking the best vaccines and protecting themselves first.